done in it. Why, when I expected that it should bring forth grapes, it brought forth white grapes? What does it say in... Uh, In Micah 7 1, it says, Listen to me, listen to what the Lord says. What misery is mine? What misery is mine? I am like one who gathers summer fruit at the gleaming of the vineyard. There is no cluster of grapes to eat, none of the early things that I crave. The Lord craves for the early things. He craves to see the fruit in fig trees that are planted in the Lord's vineyard. So that when he passes by and looks at us, and when he gets closer, after we have promised, after we have, we have said we are called by his name, he should see fruits in us. But he craves, he craves, he craves for the fruits. It's my prayer that today, it's my prayer that today, a day that we, we renew, we renew our stand towards the Lord. And we say, God, help us to be fruitful feet. Help us to bear fruits. John 15, 8. Here is my Father glorified that he bear much fruit, so shall he be my disciples. The only way we can claim the most holy name of God is by being his disciples. And for us to be his disciples, we need to be fruitful figs. And it's not that he craves for those early things, no? He wants those early things so that he may be glorified. If you want to glorify God, is by being fruitful. It's my prayer that today we decide to be fruitful trees in wherever field, in wherever field that the Lord has planted us. That we might not just be promising and when the shake comes, and when the shaking comes, when the Savior comes to see whether there's fruit in us, he realizes there's no fruit. It's my prayer today that we bring forth fruit. Hosea 14.8 He says, Ephraim shall say, Ephraim shall say, what have I to do anymore with idols? I have heard him and observed him. I am like a green cypress tree. In me is your fruit found. Let me take it to fit to our, our situation here in forward. And forward shall say, What have I to do anymore with idols? What have I to do with any more idols? God, come to me. In me, may your fruit be found. As I say, the reason that the Lord cuts the fruitless tree is because it's an obstacle to the blessings. It gets nourishments that are only for the fruitless tree. Go ye and preach the gospel. But how do we go? The fruitless tree is being cut in order to allow other fruitful tree to blossom in the Lord's vineyard. And he doesn't just cut it. He gives it time, he gives it time, he gives it time. And today he pleads also for one more year that we may decide to be fruitful. Matthew 10, 20. It says, And now also, and now also, the axe is laid unto the roots of the trees. Therefore, every tree which bringeth 
not for good fruit is held down and cast into the fire. The gardener is pleading for one more year for you and I that we may be fruitful. It's God's plan that we may prosper. Just as our souls prosper, He bleeds for one more year. This is the second week of 2012, right? Or is it the third? Just the beginning of the year. He bleeds for one more year that we may be fruitful in His vineyard. And not just deceitful, feedless trees. But what does he see in me? What does he see in you? It's my prayer today that we renew our covenant. And we say, what do I have to do anymore with idols? In me, may your fruit be found. The Lord talks to the remnant church about bringing forth fruits and he, he hopes he hopes that one day the remnant church will bring much fruit he hopes and he looks forward to, he does everything that we that needs to be done let's read Isaiah 33 31 he says once more a remnant of the house of Judah will take root below and bear fruit above. Once more, once more, hallelujah, once more, a remnant of the house of Judah will take root below and bear fruit above. That means this tree that, uh, that the Lord is talking about, this remnant tree says once more it will go down. When the wind blows, it will be strong because it's rooted in the vineyard, because it's rooted in the ground. And when the shaking comes, when the storms of life comes, it will not shake. And not only shaking, he says once more, the remnant church, once more, the remnant from, the, from those who are called, from the tribe of the Lion of Judah, will bear fruit above and they, they, their roots will go deep. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. Amen. And be gracious unto you. Amen. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. Amen.